Hi there, welcome to part five of the Reducing MTTA series. Today, I'm gonna talk about post-incident reviews. Uh, this may be one of the more critical parts of the entire process. In the first four steps, we really talk about responding to incidents in real time and ways that you can reroute them, communicate better, uh, any ways that you can take care of issues as they're coming in. But in order to remediate systems quickly, and reduce MTTA, MTTR over time, you really need to look at what happened and then analyze those issues. So we're gonna dive into the Victor Ops portal here to go through a little bit of our reporting, uh, primarily the post-incident review report. Uh, we have four main reports in the reporting. We have post-incident reviews, the performance MTTA, MTTR, where you can track those metrics over time, the on-call report to show who was on call, how long, when they responded to issues, and then the incident frequency report, which as you can see be, can be broken down by the service, uh, where those different issues came in from, and how often they're occurring. Uh, a lot of this gets looped into the post-incident review report, which is great because you can maintain records of previous post-incident reviews so that you can see all the different issues that happened back in this pro process. Uh, you can save these issues as PDFs. Uh, you can break it down. Let's come back here and let's actually create a test report. So we'll do a post incident review test. And you create this report. This is great because you can filter all of these different things from the timeline. You can uh, get rid of all of alerts if you just wanted to look at the chat messages from robots and people that happened. You can only do alerts if you were more curious about the alerts in a certain time frame. Uh, you can break it down by routing keys, so you can do just support. You know these different MySQL. Uh, you can really filter out this entire timeline to bring only the pertinent information into that post incident review. You can add a summary. Uh, even on these specific parts of the incidents, you can add notes like, hey, this is where the database failed. Uh, you know, whatever the note is that you want to add, you add it in there. This will save into that report. Uh, you can add any action items. Be like, uh, we need to tweak monitoring thresholds in Splunk or something of that nature. You can add that as an action item. Uh, so that SRA teams, DevOps teams, whoever's doing the responding can take action on these issues. Uh, you can then save this post-incident review, save it as a PDF, bring it to a meeting, uh, present this, and it really creates a process for organizing your PIRs and getting people up to date on anything that needs to change. Uh, I hope that's helpful. I think the filterable post-incident reviews is one of the top uh, services that we provide in VictorOps. And I think that you should really start taking advantage of that. Uh, anyways, I wanted to thank you for tuning into the five-part series of reducing MTTA. Uh, I hope it was helpful. Please reach out to us if you ever have any questions, victorops.com slash contact. We're always looking to connect with customers, prospects, anyone who's interested in making on-call suck less. Uh, anyways, we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.